Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Welcome back to JNR Exploration Discovery, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why buying name brand stuff isn't always your best bet. Now, people have a lot of loyalty to brands. Because they're like, I've been buying this brand forever, even if they change, and even if it isn't quite as good a quality as it once was, people have this deal of where they like being loyal to a brand that they've been buying forever, or their parents did this, or it's just kind of the mentality that you brought up with that this is what we use. And people get in that habit. Well... We buy Miracle Whip instead of mayonnaise. So we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Now, the truth about brands is, here's the real question to be asking yourself. When is the time to splurge and when is the time to save? So, here's the thing. Remember this. Have you ever found yourself reaching for a name brand, brand product without ever thinking twice? Well, today we are really going to dive into that and see if we can not help you guys do that. And try to save some money because name brand is not always the best. So, getting down to it, quality versus marketing. A lot of products that aren't very good quality, they just have really good marketing. So, you think that they are better than what they really are. So, just because a product has a fancy name and a high price tag doesn't mean it's always the best quality. In fact, many generic or store brand products of the same caliber are actually made by the same manufacturers as the name brand versions but at a fraction of the cost so a lot of things that you buy in a store and a lot of people don't actually realize this is a lot of things that you buy are actually made by the same people and they are the exact same product just put in different boxes to do that so and you may see in stores like Walmart especially if you're going to buy like medicine or something they have like the Equate brand and then they have the name brand product and they're basically the same thing now sometimes they're not exactly the same sometimes the name brand product is the superior product so just keep that in mind whenever you do it. And if you really don't know until you actually buy it. I don't trust reviews by people. so Because there's a lot of things that a lot of people say, well, it's terrible and I go do it. And I actually enjoy it. So just keep that in mind as well whenever you get out there. So the price comparisons between name brand and generic products appear on the shelves next to those items. So... Again, they compare side by side, so just keep that in mind whenever you're going in there. And they tend to do that, but a lot of people don't tend to, t tend to look at the prices on things. It's kind of like two gas stations being right next door to each other, but people only buy their gas at Casey's. But Casey's could be 30 or 40 cents higher than the station right next to it. I've seen this actually happen, so you really pay attention to what you're grabbing and the prices and the quality of those products as you're grabbing them. So... Let's take a look at some of these examples. I've given you guys some of the examples here. A good example of this is I use I use Mucinex for my allergies. So whenever you get down to the end of the day product, there's an Equate brand right next to it. It's about $10 cheaper. But I have found that the Mucinex actually works better. It's more effective. The name brand product that you see on TV and commercials. But you got to beware because there are other products out there that will say that they're top of the line brand and people think it just because they see it on TV. Just like there are like soda is a good example of this. Now, we can all pretty much agree that if you're going out to buy a bottle of Dr. Pepper, that Dr. Thunder tastes different. But it's really a matter of opinion because I actually like Dr. Thunder more than I do Dr. Pepper. And at the end of the day, the Dr. Thunder is a lot cheaper than Dr. Pepper. So, it's really a matter of comparison, but you've got to remember that price doesn't always equal quality. And I've been saying that. So, some examples are like name brand laundry detergent as well. It costs $15, while a store brand version holds the same generic product, but it costs $8. So, that's a savings of about 47%. So, think about that at the end of the day. Really think about that. You're saving almost half by just buying the store brand, but it's the same thing. You guys have probably heard the advertisements if you have like Spotify and things like that for like Tide Pods. They advertise Tide Pods and they do that deal of like, well, that generic store brand and that 
the big gallon. That's like 80% bought back water. And they go into the commercial and she's like, well, I thought I was getting a better deal because it was so big. And But it's things like that. Now, you also be careful about like marketing like that because things like Tide Parts are trying to drive the deal to buying Tide brand products because that just ups their profit margins even more. So remember that. Now, I'm not saying you should never buy name brand products. There are times when it's worth splurging, like when you need a high-end product for a certain task or when you're looking for a premium experience. There are certain things like this. Flashlights are a good example of this. A lot of the cheap brand flashlights, obviously, if you buy a flashlight for a dollar and you buy like a full steel one that's rechargeable for, you know, 50 bucks, the, the $50 one is going to outlast it by a lot. And that's just, that's just quality of products and that's regardless of brand like usually but you've got to know i was actually having a conversation about this with a friend of mine last night and he likes this particular flashlight i like this particular type of flashlight and that's okay they're two different kinds and it was just a nice comparison but he also said that he used to buy a different brand but they were talked up and they're supposed to be so good but just keep it on the shelf, the battery would drain within a couple of days. So that is also something else that you guys got to keep a, keep, keep an eye on right there. There are a lot of examples of this out there, and I know things keep getting higher and higher in the grocery stores. So just make sure that you're not just grabbing the name brand products. Now, where name brand products usually have an advantage is, is that if you're looking to buy that and you know it's a better deal, usually they have coupons for name brand products they usually don't have a coupon for like the great value brand because they're already reduced the price so much but a good example of this if you like making instant pudding or jello or anything along, along those lines you guys can actually go out there and the great the value brand of that is actually really good there's the boxes of jello but they cost three or four times as much in the store shelf. So the great value brand there is actually better. That's just another example. There are tons of examples that you can use for this. But a lot of people don't think before they do it. So the next time that you go to a grocery store, I'm just trying to help you guys out here. The next time that you go to a grocery store, especially with the economy being the way it is and everybody's struggling for those few extra dollars in their pockets, make sure that you go out there and every dollar and dime and penny counts now. Make sure that you are not just grabbing the name brand product because this is what you did. A lot of people do this though too. This is something that we do for making sandwiches as well because we buy Miracle Whip. And a lot of people buy it like full on like mayonnaise and they think, well, you're just cheap because you're buying like Miracle Whip. But it's so much cheaper than buying like mayonnaise and it's the same thing. So it's just one of those things. It's just, you've got to be able to break yourself of, oh, that's the brand I buy, and this and that, and that will save you a lot in the, in the long run, guys, I'm just saying. So, the next time you're shopping, just remember, just because it's a name brand doesn't mean it's the best choice. Do your research, read reviews, and compare prices. Your wallet will thank you at the end of the day. Now, guys, I will say this. You've got to make these decisions for yourself. Reviews are good. But again, if you're unsure sure about something, buy the product, try it. If you don't like it, don't buy it again. Buy the other one the next time. That's really just as simple as it is. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content with GNR Exploration Discovery. we got a lot of things going up, a lot of traveling to do here in the future, guys. But this is something I just had to throw in here today because it is just so ridiculous how expensive things have gotten here lately so this is just one way to try to help you guys save a few dollars and it's something that a lot of people don't think about because again they get in that habit of just grabbing this or that god bless each and every one of you i'm jared with general exploration and discovery subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads